I'm Justin Kanaki. I am the uh, creator, writer, producer, director of Something to be Desired, which is a uh, web-based sitcom here in Pittsburgh that's now in its fifth year. When we started Something to be Desired back in 2003, it was primarily a creative outlet for me at the time. Uh, since then, I, almost by accident, I've been sort of grandfathered into being an expert just by virtue of having done it for five years. So I've taken all of the lessons I've learned by trial and error and sort of turned that into a, uh, a situation where I can assist other companies that want to get involved in creating web video. I know the ins and outs at this stage and I know how to produce uh, quality video for the internet inexpensively and relatively quickly. So uh, I use those skills for good instead of evil. And I work with uh, corporate clients now who want to sort of reach out to, uh, to new audiences, new customer bases, and sort of do it in an informal way so it doesn't seem like they're hard selling you. It seems like they're trying to be your friend. And since every corporation wants to be your friend, I can help them be your friend. Currently, uh, funny thing right now is that um, Almost every job I've ever received in the social media sphere has come to me through the social media sphere. Uh, I use instant messenger services like Twitter and people will locate me on there and suddenly offer me jobs, which is a nice situation to be in. When I actually haven't, I haven't sent a resume probably in six or seven years, so almost every job that I get comes by virtue of being on the internet. It's this new nebulous place where you could put your work experience for people to find you by accident and they just give you money. So, I highly recommend it. The interesting thing to me is that maybe as an artist, I stumbled into social media fairly early on in the learning curve. And we're getting to a stage now where corporations and nonprofits and educators are all realizing this, this, these tools are out there. They would like to use them, they see the power, they recognize the possibilities, but nobody in the corporate of things really seems to have a whole lot of time to devote to learning how these things work. Um, they don't, they can't afford to do the trial and error that we've been able to do on our, in our, on our own time. So it's in their best interests to reach out to those of us who started out as artists and experimenters and explorers who can now call ourselves consultants and experts by virtue of you know, longevity. And longevity is a, a very subjective term. When five years gets you to be an expert, I think I'll be a grandmaster in 20. Um, but the good thing about this is corporations can reach out and say, hey, how can we get started in using social media and reaching out to these people? Um, and can you do it for us? So all of a sudden, I sort of have the responsibility of being not just an artist, not just a, uh, a creative consultant, but also representing these companies to a certain extent. So a lot of times when, when uh, we're invited to start using and creating social media on behalf of companies, we have a lot more freedom, a lot more creative control than we might normally if we were hired as you know, specified uh, contractors under lots of uh, deadlines and approvals and so forth. The beauty of social media is because so few people understand it yet, they just know that if it's done, it's probably good, so we're going to use it because it was cheaply made. So in a lot of ways, corporations are getting to do that trial and error through us at a much lower cost than they would if they had to suddenly invest fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars in training themselves to do it. I think one of the daunting things about social media is that on one hand it's all incredibly new, on the other hand it all changes pretty quickly. So the average company looks at social media and thinks, I know I need to use this, I'm not quite sure how, I don't have the time to realize how to use it necessarily uh, on my own time, and by the time they feel they've mastered something or grasped it enough to actually be useful to them, the playing field has sort of changed, and now they need somebody else who knows the next big thing. So uh, a lot of these companies that are looking for consultants are looking for somebody who isn't necessarily a master at any one area, not just audio, not just video. They sort of need a lot of jack of all trades to come in and allow us as consultants to look at what somebody's business plan or, or nonprofits or the arts or education, uh, to look at what it is they're trying to accomplish and think, okay, out of all this myriad of tools that are available, what are the two or three best things that we can use to reach a new audience or even um, improve your communications with your existing audience and do it relatively quickly and inexpensively. So uh, a lot of times a company will come in and ask us to either create a Twitter profile or a MySpace profile or a Facebook profile and, and manage that, reach out, build uh, a friend basis. And on one hand you can see that as just a glorified mailing list, but on the other hand the companies that get social media realize there's a lot more value in being able to reach out and get individual feedback from people too. They're not using it as a one-way mechanism, they're using it as a two-way conversation. And it's an overused cliche at this stage to say it's a conversation, 
But honestly, any company that's using social media and not taking the feedback is sort of, they're not really using social media, they're misusing social media. The companies that you see adapt to um, audience feedback, that adapt to users saying this is or isn't working and I'd like to see this work differently. Smart companies are saying, okay, if enough people are saying this, we can move quickly on this and improve our product rather than sending it out there, waiting for the feedback, waiting for it to come in through traditional channels, through consumer reports, through publications that are going to take, you know, uh, magazines, even in a, in, a, in a fast economy are going to take weeks to months to turn around. A company can launch something and get instantaneous feedback during launch weekend. And all of a sudden, you'll see an iPhone come out two or three weeks later that's a totally different model. Isn't that funny, Apple? How quickly you learn from your mistakes. So social media is very important, I think, to get instantaneous feedback, not just artistically, but also in a, in a business sense. Hi, I'm Justin Kanaki, creator of the hit web series, Something to be Desired. And I'm coming to PodCamp Pittsburgh 3 on October 18th and 19th, 2008. Are you? Are you Canadian?